It is 518. Let's get a check of our weather because how's it looking out this morning? Well, weather not too bad here and things are improving across the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico on the wake of Hurricane Dorian right now. As you can see here, satellite imagery and radar combined do show that the system is not quite as impressive looking from the radar perspective as it was yesterday, but you still can see an eye out there, although very small kind of wobbling, filling in just a little bit as well too. And that is kind of what we've been watching here with the system as it continues that northerly track out there and that kind of, or northwesterly track that will continue moving away from the islands and out here in the Atlantic. Still encountering a little wind shear today, but once it gets a little bit farther here off to the northwest, that'll get out of that wind shear, and that's when we could start to rapidly strengthen into a major hurricane as we head on into tonight and tomorrow. Right now, winds are at uh, 85, moving northwest at 13, pressure 991. That's up a little bit here, as you can see with that eye kind of cl closing in just a little bit, not as impressive as it was yesterday. And we'll continue on that track to the northwest at 13, uh, still becoming a major or rather a category two hurricane at one o'clock this afternoon with winds of 100 miles per hour by 1 a.m. tomorrow, almost a category three will become a category three on Friday and a strong category three by landfall there sometime late Monday on into Tuesday. And that's when things look to be potentially going downhill. But you notice the icons a little closer together. Latest model trends do want to slow this one down. And when we see that happening, Give me a couple of things out there. Obviously, this could become a big heavy rain maker for it, but also sometimes when it slows down, kind of start drifting more to the north. It's going to be pulled north by a trough of low pressure as it's sitting with high pressure off to the east, kind of steering it into Florida. Still some questions though remain exactly where it comes in. If it's far north, there's Georgia coastline or as far south as about southern Florida near the Keys. So again, a lot could happen here with this one here. Uh, moving on into Florida, it does show again the cone in the eastern part of the Gulf here. Still a chance it could again in the northeast. Eastern Gulf, um, not giving us the all clear yet, but uh, something definitely worth watching here as it continues at northward track. If it does slow down and stall, this would be a significant heavy rain event for parts of the southeast United States. They've been fairly dry, which is some good news, but uh, don't want to have too much heavy flooding rains. Otherwise, we'll have more issues from this one. So we'll be watching this one closely. A lot will change between now and then, especially with intensity and exactly where it's going to go. The steering patterns with high pressure, how strong they really are, that does make a difference. We'll watch that one for sure.